schools, classrooms, traditional modes of instruction, a mind that is guided to follow a curriculum, to undergo tests and score a perfect 10. But there is another kind of education that lets its students dabble in the medium through experiments. We were, do, we were doing the project uh, which plants absorb more carbon dioxide uh, to find uh, which, uh, which plants lives, uh, gives more oxygen. All this intelligence for a simple village boy is credited to the Agastya Foundation that conducts the world's largest science education program. And the brain behind this mammoth project is a man who is our ideal pick as a global Indian. So I was a banker for many years on Wall Street and London, and I got tired of the routine. A friend of mine in London pointed out to me that I wasn't reaching out to society in general. I was a, leading a very selfish life, and I guess he was right. So all these factors combined to motivate me to start this foundation. And the mission of the foundation is to spark curiosity and creativity in disadvantaged, economically disadvantaged children and in government school teachers. Because through teachers you can achieve a force multiplier effect. Making the study of science really a touch and feel experience are Agastya Foundation's mobile vans. Taking science on wheels, these vans carry experiments of scientific models to the remote rural schools. Van में बहुत सारे चीजें हमारे लेके आते हैं, जिसमें बहुत सारे जैसे कि पृथ्वी होती है, सूर्य है, तो उसके बारे में उससे हम लोग और भी ज़्यादा चीजें सीखते हैं, जो हम बुक में नहीं सीख पाते हैं। हमें बोलते हैं आप खुद करके देखो कि कैसा है हो रहा है और कैसे हो रहा है और क्यों हो रहा है, तो सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छा लगता है। ये कौन सी गति है? और ये? जब वो बच्चे उस मॉडल को खुद करते हैं, अपने हाथों से फील करते हैं, तो उन्हें इतना एक्साइट होते हैं। आप देख सकते हैं कि बच्चों के अंदर इतनी सारी क्यूरियोसिटी है। तो इन अगस्ते इंटरनेशनल फाउंडेशन के साइंस और व्हील्स का जो प्रोजेक्ट है, कहीं न कहीं इनके अंदर ये हैंड्स और लर्निंग के थ्रू Training educators is an equally important task to infuse creative temper and problem-solving skills into the young minds of students. Agastya frequently holds teacher training programs for rural instructors and teachers. Apart from learning through experiments, it also trains students to be young instructors to develop leadership skills and their peer groups to absorb the information even better. The best oil and the best lamp. We have an innovative lamp. We have a reservoir and we have a pipe. 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 The environment I think we've created, for instance, is one where people are not afraid to express themselves, to ask questions, to disagree, to, to dissent, to explore themselves. So the sorts of behavioral changes that we are trying to incite through the environments that we are supporting are to get children and teachers to shift from yes to why not in a cynical way, but in a positive way. To shift from looking to observing, learning to observe deeply. To go from being passive to learning to explore. To being very textbook bound, to being more hands-on. A very important part of what we're doing is ecology and environment. Our campus, a 170-acre campus, when we acquired it, was barren wasteland. It's been converted into a medicinal park. And there are tremendous learnings from that 
that directly impact livelihoods of rural uh, farmers. And, you know, the children learn these techniques and methods so that as they grow up, they can be more productive and live in a more integrated way. <laughs> Agastya is getting known and people are actually asking us to launch programs in different places, way beyond our own capacity to meet that need. So the challenges today are finding high quality people. It's the instructors, I call our barefoot instructors. So wherever we go, we recruit locally and we train them. Now, what sort of people are we looking for? In villages, you're not going to get MSCs and PhDs. And actually, you don't need them. What you need are people with what I call the BEE -E degree. And that stands for Bachelor of Energy and Enthusiasm. As a charitable trust, we depend on support from philanthropists, foundations, and governments. So that's a constant challenge. You have your ups and downs, and for every hundred people you meet, five or six or seven or maybe ten if you're lucky, might respond to you positively. And I suppose it's a good feeling, you know, to feel that you're being recognized. But I'm interested in this because I hope it will lead to something else uh, for Augustia as people see this program, learn more, more about what we're doing, and come forward and say, hey, we'd like to support you to expand it. So that's a great feeling. Tandani tanano, tandani tanano, tandani tanitandano.